item on the agenda is uh, pledge of allegiance. Do we have students here? Do we have students come up? Okay. It's Jay Rothstein. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <laughs> Next item on the agenda is a uh, short moment of silence. Next item is uh, student spotlight. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, these students that uh, just a few moments ago for the audience's uh, information, we had a demonstration of our local 4-H uh, with Stephanie Rodriguez here. Come on up, Steph. Uh, we appreciate her bringing over some of her star students. Uh, I went over maybe about a month or so ago and, and uh, up at Inez Elementary School and uh, watched them in the archery uh, training. Uh, for our students and they're going to be coming up on a competition but I'll let you talk a little bit about that but we're going to recognize the students uh, that came here this evening uh, in particular uh, to demonstrate for the board and the board uh, took, board members took part in that as well so Stephanie tell us a little bit about your program. Okay. Um, our 4-H uh, program here in Mountain County um, this is actually the first time that we are having this in Martin County it's just archery right now it's shooting sports which can also be rifle and things like that. But right now we just have archery, and we are practicing at uh, the Ines Elementary School every Tuesday uh, from 6 o'clock till about 8 o'clock. This is a sport for every child. Uh, the ages between 9 and 18 years old, the younger ones, you know, they're just not be able to pull the, the ball. So it has to be 9 years old and above. Um, well, what should, what would you like me to do? The competition, yes. This Saturday, we are actually really excited people. This is the first time that we're going to a 4-H state competition. Uh, we're a little bit nervous about it, you know, but we're trying to just kind of get a feel for it, and hopefully next year we're uh, a little bit more organized and definitely uh, trying to get some um, place at the competition. But uh, this year, we're going down to Lexington, uh, we're going to take a bus and we are transporting, I think we have what, 12, 12 students and the ranges are from elementary school all the way up to high school that are going down there uh, overnight and um, all day competition and um, like I said it's state level so we have about over 6,000 students there that day and over 900 adult volunteers that help with the whole event. Uh, this again is archery, it's shotgun, it's rifle, black powder, uh, pistol, is all that. So this is going to be a really exciting time for Martin County and our students. Absolutely. So we want to recognize those uh, kids that came out this evening. Uh, this certificate is Martin County School Student Spotlight. This certificate is awarded to uh, the first uh, student is Howard Castle for exemplifying the value of a Martin County <laughs> John Bowen. Devin Davis. Devin had to go to practice. Okay. So um, if you don't mind, Doris will go ahead and accept that in his All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We appreciate you coming over too. Henry McGinnis. <laughs> Devin Thompson.
He did a bullseye there, didn't he? Did somebody have a bullseye? I said, yes, the thing is rigged. <laughs> Good job. Jacob Crumb. And give these guys a hand. We're proud of the competition here. They're all going. They're all going to the competition. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, good luck to each of you. We're very proud of you. Represent as well. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. <clears throat> And we have one staff spotlight this evening, and that is Harold Jean Rosenthal. And the reason why we're recognizing uh, Ms. Rosenthal tonight is because that she is, uh, a couple years ago when the uh, school improvement grant funds were allocated to Martin County School District, and in particular because of the persistent low achieving status of the high school, uh, Ms. Rosenthal took advantage of the offer of assistance to support her in uh, becoming dual credit certified uh, to meet the needs of our kids. And we certainly appreciate uh, your efforts and what you, uh, the opportunities that you create for our kids. It's very important for them to, them to succeed in another way, in another avenue, and certainly prepare them for college and career ready. So thank you for what you do. Appreciate it very much. And this is the certificate, Martin County School Staff Spotlight. This certificate is awarded to Carol Jean Rosenthal for exemplifying the value of a Martin County education. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank and we're visiting campus next week. Oh, excellent. Very good. And that offer still stands. We're, we're trying to recruit teachers um, and the ones that we have in the district to uh, get more involved in the dual credit offerings as well. So, thank you, Mr. Chair. Next item on the agenda is the consent agenda. Uh, discussion of possible action on August 11, 2014 board minutes. Also discussion of possible action on treasurer's orders in the amount of 399-911-67 and paid warrants in the amount of 321-807-16. Also discussion of possible action on professional conferences, vehicle requests, and use of district property. Uh, have any discussion on those three items? Not any motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve. Have a motion, need a second. Second. Motion second, I'm in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. One opposed, motion carries. Next item is a discussion, possible action on superintendent matters. That's on your attachment, just for information purposes only. <coughs> uh, I'm going to ask someone, um, so, so there's not going to be a on Superintendent. Yeah. Okay. Um, there was an applicant that claims that um, he put in several applications and they were either lost or destroyed. Uh, I promised him I'm going to let up. Discussion? If not, uh, next item is discussion of possible action on pay application number one for Martin County Middle School Roofing Project, BG number 14214, in the amount of $74,030.40. Mr. Chairman, I believe everyone received a copy of that, and that is the um, first part of the roofing project in Martin County Middle School. That's the first one I do. Yes, that's the first one I do. Is there any further discussion on that by the board? Not on any motion to approve. I'll 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 motion second. second. I'll I'll second. Second. Paper saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item is discussion of possible action on mission and vision statements. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Back in May, we began as a district to create a five-year strategic plan for Martin County School Districts. This is a uh, typical document in school districts. It's first for Martin County. A very important document that determines our course and our direction of where we want to be in five years. And so uh, starting in May with uh, the assistance of our educational recovery and stakeholders across from, uh, from across the community. We had parents, we had um, business, 
uh, partners. We had school administrators, central office, of course. Uh, most importantly, we had uh, students from high school and middle school representing on, in that group as well, that guided coalition. And that was the beginning steps of creating the document for five-year strategic plan. And so um, the foundation of that strategic plan is our mission and uh, vision statements for the district moving forward. And these were brought together by the guided coalition. They were uh, sent throughout the district and the community. And this is what it filtered down to and arrived at these statements. And I submit them to you tonight for uh, your consideration and approval. The vision is through the efforts of all. Every student will be college and career ready, inspired to achieve their lifelong dreams. And again, as we've talked about a vision, it's a picture of, a few, of the future. Where do we want to be? What do we want to look like in five years? Where do we want our student achievement to be and our students to be prepared for? And our mission, we lead with passion, empower with promise, and equip with excellence. And again, those two statements are the, found, are the bedrock of our strategic plan moving forward, to which we will then uh, create our values and our belief statements that will serve as our foundation uh, moving forward for the next five years in Martin County Schools. Discussion on the board of the mission statement, also the vision statement. Not any motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve. A motion and a second. A motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next item is discussion of possible action on construction manager contract with OJ. Mr. Chairman, that is also in the uh, your packet. And ask for your approval this evening for. I'm considering that that's going on with um, I have somebody looking on it for me. Can we go on this at That's up to the board. I'd like for you to discuss it with yeah. the public. Maybe it's 24 pages, but I, I think it should be read. But since the, board, the, board, the taxes were raised. Because I heard that we didn't really need to pay a big price for construction. My recommendation four years ago with the construction manager is a thirty-two million dollar contract. It's a pretty good chunk of change. So, but if the board determines or desires to, uh, we have approved this construction manager and now it's the contract. So, the board would like to consider that. Right. Some reviewed it. I did have legal review it. I did send it to KDE to have it reviewed. And it seems to be in order. But y'all would approve it, don't they? Do you know? When did, when did that get approved? It's on here now. No, he said it's already approved. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, that was bad. But the contract in itself, I have to say. I'd ask you all to review it, Kathleen. We have a motion on the table to approve it. Well, well, I'm on. Can I wait till? <coughs> that motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh. Opposed? Yeah. Okay. Three in favor, one opposed. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is uh, approval into executive session to KR 61.810 BC and D litigation. I have a motion to enter an executive session. I'll make a motion. I have a motion and a second. I'll second. Motion and second. All in favor, indicate saying aye. 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 